I don't have to upload. I have all these videos that's still working for me. Hundreds of videos that are still working for me. Making $2, $3, $4, $5, $6. To the point, guys, that in July, I made this amount of money and I didn't even upload that much. I quit my job chasing my dream now I'm living my dream and I want to share with you guys and I, I just want to tell you guys that you can do the same thing today finally the guys I'm gonna show you guys how you can make money on YouTube how I was able to travel the world I've been traveling the world for over two years non-stop well I would stop for two weeks and continue to travel the world and I, I've been able to do that I also was able to pay off my mother's home I know a lot of you guys subscribe to my channel just based off of that video where I paid off my mother's home I ask you guys to hit the like button get it to 20,000 likes and I would make this video so your dream has come true shout out to everyone that hit that like button you're gonna get your information today first of all I want you to know I'm making this video for motivational and inspirational purposes I'm not here trying to gloat to you where I'm at logo or you know none of that okay I want you to do this too the information I'm gonna give you today hopefully can inspire you to do something similar to what I did okay stick to the end of this video because I'm gonna talk to you about some of the, my biggest mistakes that way you don't have to go through that all right and I'm also throughout this whole um, conversation I'm gonna be giving you a lot of gems so you should just watch the whole video so you don't miss out on certain parts of becoming a youtuber I got inspired to become a youtuber because I would look at other content creators and saw what they were doing with their lives and what their family lives so I decided to try to do that for myself I didn't have a mentor so what I did was I just did as much research as possible possible to find out how do I make revenue on YouTube so I'm gonna tell you right now how you make revenue how how do people make revenue on YouTube basically and then you probably heard this several times right we make revenue based off of ads okay that are run during our videos you create videos you upload them on YouTube and once you become a partner with YouTube they run ads when I mean ads I mean like a company will say hey I want to promote my business on your platform and I'm willing to pay you for that that. so YouTube will do that so if an ad is run through your, one of your videos YouTube will basically split the profit with you as a content creator if you're a partner as of right now you get 55% and they get 45% I know that might not sound like a good deal to you but it actually is lucrative and it actually can change the way you live I'm gonna talk briefly about how you become a partner basically you need to have a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours and it's not that hard if you try to put out real quality videos and you you do your research hopefully you listen to what I'm gonna tell you in this video so it can make e things easier for you 4,000 watch hours seems like a lot of hours but you can actually make that in one popular video okay once you become a partner with YouTube you get monetized and you have the ability to not add ads running through your videos you get the ability to tell YouTube put an ad on this video put an ad on this video and how much ads in each video you get paid you're gonna get paid once a month okay YouTube pays people once a month uh, the more ads you have on your video the more likelihood you might get more money as of right now your video has to be eight minutes long and you could put multiple ads in your videos chances are if you watching the video and you're like how many ads are in this video the person that created that content actually put those ads or allow YouTube to put it for them. If your video is eight minutes long, you can actually add more than one ad on your video and this can help boost revenue to your channel. Let me give you an example. Let's say you have a seven minute video. You're only allowed to put one ad on that video. You can't put more than one ad. But if you have an eight minute video, you can put multiple ads in the video. So you could put an ad in the beginning of the video, in the middle of the video, or at the end of the video. And when you do that, you can actually increase the revenue you get. Instead of one commercial, you splitting the revenue with YouTube, there's a possibility of splitting two commercials or even three it all depends on your audience how much time they watch your video if they don't watch two ads you're not gonna get that revenue you get what I'm saying it's basically a science to it which I'll talk about you just don't want to oversaturate it me knowing this information off the gate I wanted to make sure that I maximized the amount of ads I had for each video so I made sure my videos were a minimum of 10 minutes long that way I could actually have more ads in each video and possibly get a little bit more revenue coming in 
on my channel. Getting fully monetized for me was a very long process because I was covering a various different topics. But when I got into the travel topic, I noticed my channel was growing. So I'll just focus on that. I realized people were interested in me going to Colombia. So what I did was I planned to quit my job. I saved enough money uh, so I could live in Colombia for at least three months. And so I quit my job, I moved to Colombia and I built my channel up and to the point where I got it monetized and I got a, a thousand subscribers. I wanna tell you guys this, you can do this, but you gotta be careful. You need to make sure that you have enough financial backing. I didn't just quit my job. I made sure I had enough money behind me, but I wanted this YouTube thing so bad and I was willing to make sacrifices to chase my dream. And I actually was able to um, get, get that. Once I got monetized, my first check was around 200 bucks, all right? So I was like, oh, I was back home at my mother's house because my money dried up and I was making 200 bucks. I was living in the back of my mother's efficiency and it was, it was tough, but I kept uploading to the point that following year after I quit my job in January 2019, I made this amount of money. This amount of money helped propel me even further. So next thing I did was I moved back to Colombia. I had saved some money. I was working day labor at the time and I was also doing um, YouTube. So I had saved some money. I moved to Colombia and I haven't been back for more than two weeks since then. All right, I haven't been back and here's how I did it guys. So once I moved to Colombia, I knew that I was not making too much money on YouTube but I knew that I can make some revenue if I upload every day I wasn't a popular youtuber I was a very small every time I upload I would be lucky if I would get 2,000 views so it was a blessing to get 1,000 2,000 views but I realized if I upload every day I would see some form of income which in the United States would not work but in Colombia I could sustain a particular type of lifestyle. And plus I had some friends over that let me crash over while I was still uploading every single day. So that $700 I made, it ended up repeating itself. I would upload every day and by the end of the month, I would make around six, $700. And I would just go ahead and live my life based off that $600 over and over and over again each month. And to the point by the end of that year, I had traveled the world, I went to Mexico, I spent all, I spent some time in Colombia, I went to Japan, and I spent time in Thailand, and I spent time in Vietnam. All off of just doing that over and over again, just reinvesting my money into my craft and then living cheaply, living meagerly, and I made this of money, this amount of money that year. That whole year I made that amount of money. This budget is probably something you make at McDonald's, but I was making it traveling the world and I made it work. I also was getting donations from my subscribers. As a YouTuber and you're small, it can be hard and your audience knows this, but they find value in your content so they want to help you out. So that's what happened with me. I found an audience that loved my content and they would want to help me out. So they would send money to me directly to keep my travels pushing. So this is how I was able to survive. Mind you, there was something happening I did not realize. Even as a small YouTuber, I was increasing my money and I didn't realize it because every time you upload a video, that video makes money and it's not gonna stop to make money. This is the key you need to understand as a small content creator. It's gonna change when you get bigger, right? But as a small content creator, if you upload every day and your videos are evergreen, meaning that video can be watched years later and people still find value in it because you took time to make sure it was great quality involved and it was evergreen. Let's say you uploaded 200 videos last year. Each of those videos makes $2. That means you're gonna get $400 for that one month and it doesn't stop. That money will continue to come to you. It's like compounding videos to compound revenue towards you as a small YouTuber. So if you're a small YouTuber and you're worrying like, oh, I don't, how I'm gonna afford this, just make sure you put your best work in creating the video. That video is gonna make money for you. It might take forever to make some money for you. But if you got a thousand of those videos, guess what? You're gonna make a thousand dollars or more in the future every month as long as you make sure your videos are evergreen this is key guys my channel was growing based on that that's how i was able to survive your channel is going to grow as long as you keep uploading and you keep trying to create good quality content it can take forever but i guarantee
continue, if you keep trying to try new things while you upload, you will get to that point. In January 2021, I made this amount of money in one month, all right? I wanna remind you guys, two years ago, I made this in that same month. And then in that same year, I made this amount of money. So I went from making this amount of money in one year to this amount of money in one month and i've been doing this for a long time guys i won't tell you how long but it got into the point where i have been able to just been financially stable and being able to securely pay off my mother's house i think it's a blessing that it has gotten to that point but i want you to understand something guys it wasn't easy for me i'm talking about a lot of mistakes a lot of uploads we're talking about hundreds of uploads if you i'm uploading like 30 videos in 30 days Days, okay and then it has gotten to the point where I have to upload 30 videos in 30 days because I have so much videos out there that are still working still getting views videos I made two years ago that are still getting views that are compounding money for me so that was how I did it all right some people don't have to go through that some people are gonna be lucky they're gonna upload a video and it's gonna do phenomenal numbers for them for me I had to get do it the hard way okay now I'm gonna talk about one of my biggest mistakes ever becoming a youtuber and hopefully if you are an inspiring youtuber or you're already a youtuber this information i'm about to tell you can help you in the long run all right i want you to understand when i'm telling you this is not coming from a place of hate but i want you to understand how the algorithm works so that way you don't ruin your channel all right when you first become a youtuber you get excited about creating content you want to share it with the world especially your friends and so what happens is you start sharing your videos with your friends you tell your family everyone to subscribe to you but you are actually setting yourself up for failure when you do that you know why because these people are your friends they see you every day they don't want to see your vlog they don't want to learn about you <laughs> you know what I mean they want to support you so they'll subscribe and this is how things get a little hazy the algorithm will notice that you have subscribers but they're not watching your content when that happens your videos will not get the views you want you're gonna keep wondering why well, I put so much work into this video why is it not getting any views It's because you're the subscriber the initial subscribers you have are not watching you so you got to be very careful about how you get subscribers this is also something uh in terms of let's say you do a collaboration with somebody when you do a collaboration with somebody make sure your content and their content are similar for example i did a collaboration with you but you talk about bitcoin and my audience goes to you your video because i told them to they're going to go to your your channel but they're not going to watch your content because most of them probably are not into Bitcoin. Most of them are not into whatever topic you're talking about. So when you upload a video and you got a thousand subscribers that came from my channel, right? And the algorithm is, is saying, hey man, you got a thousand subscribers that didn't watch your video. I'm not gonna push this, it's not good quality. You're not connecting with your audience. That's what it's gonna tell you. So you gotta understand that guys. So what I mean is you have to try to grow organically it's very important that you go organically trust me in the long run when you do that you will have the best channel ever okay because it will always attract the right people to your channel when you do that if you do it any other way it can delay the process of you becoming a larger youtuber and also mess with your money as well this is my mistake i did that in the earlier stage trying to get people to come to my channel who really weren't really interested in my content they subscribe because of recommendations and i do appreciate them subscribing but in the long run it really damaged my channel uh, to a point it took years to recover from i don't want that to happen to you so you have to be very careful when creating content another thing about doing things organically is you want to take your time guys when you're uploading content just get used to creating content um, using editing software you have to move at a pace that you are comfortable do not force things all right i uploaded over over a thousand videos a lot of that failed 
but through those failures I learned a lot about myself I learned a lot about my audience I learned different techniques every time I upload a video I looked at the failure as an opportunity to learn from it if I didn't get views your there's always a, a, a opportunity to learn something about why and you, you do this by looking at your analytics as a youtuber you can't be lazy if you want to do this for real you got to be dedicated you gotta learn the analytics there's gonna be a part in the YouTube system that shows you what you're lacking how much time your audience watches you what words they're searching for these are the things you're gonna learn as a content creator as you grow but you're not gonna grow you learn it all in one day you can understand the concepts but you got to do it organically all right guys another thing is you don't want to burn out I've seen content creators or new youtubers they'll upload 20 videos in one week right and they think they did something after those 20 videos they'll probably stop uploading for the next two weeks and say oh I'll upload in two weeks and probably upload five videos and then next thing you know they don't upload any videos for the next year two years and that happens to a lot of content creators so I'm gonna say this to you get comfortable in your craft and to the point where you can feel comfortable uploading on a daily basis and this do that just get comfortable just learn the processes I can upload it on a daily basis I choose not to anymore because my channel has gotten to the point where I don't have to upload I have all these videos that's still working for me hundreds of videos that are still working for me making two dollars three dollars four dollars five dollars six dollars to the point guys that in July I made this amount of money and I didn't even upload that much all right <laughs> I didn't upload that much I made that amount of money and I didn't upload them I think I uploaded like five times that month and I made that amount of money it's possible to happen to you there's a lot of different factors involved on what determines how much money you make one of the factors are the type of content you want to um, do just generally go for the thing you like to do don't go for the thing that just makes the most money do the thing that you want to do you got financing automobile technology Bitcoin agriculture there's so much the sky is the limit if there's something that you're passionate about and you know go for that if you like to travel go for that if you like to talk about sports go for that so I just want to end this video with this believe in yourself guys if you believe in yourself you can make this work you can make this work for yourself okay guys if you believe in yourself that means people might look at you crazy I come from an environment that doesn't do YouTube so when I started to do it uh, certain people were looking at me crazy they thought I was a crazy guy but sometimes you gotta be crazy <laughs> if you want things to happen in your life some people are not gonna agree with you some people are gonna think you crazy and that's why I'm making this video guys to let you know that this is totally real you totally can do this guys and I believe in you and uh, yeah I just want to I'll end it with that man but before I leave let me just show you my environment I'm actually here in Mexico City I'm still traveling I feel like I'm gonna be here for a couple of weeks and then I'm gonna be going to Brazil and it feels good that I can financially do that and I can financially share my dreams with you guys and it just feels good guys to be living the dream I quit my job chasing my dream now I'm living my dream and I want to share with you guys and I just want to tell you guys that you can do the same thing regardless of whatever it is maybe it's not YouTube but maybe you found value in what I'm talking about and I just wanted you to know that you can do it too just chase your dream believe in yourself don't quit and eventually it will happen for you all right uh, number one thing is don't be afraid to make some changes all right I leave with that I have a saying on my channel I'm gonna say what you guys share with you guys and it's basically I got to remind you I got to remind you to always always stay live all right here in Mexico living my dream you could do it too all right thanks for watching see you in the next video if you are new to my channel make sure you check out my other videos and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Hey, 2017, let us do it. Whatever this brings me. When I say I got it, I'm not giving you the But I got all the support. Please. Because it's never easy. Come on, let's do it. Believe it or not, I'm seeing you. If I put you, I'm seeing you. And I'm always pushing that. You already know this, man. Team you. I'm team you. So, my people in. United Kingdom. United Kingdom, Canada, Australia, Israel. Texas can't go so
Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico, Germany, Amsterdam.